I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate my birthday than with a giant free 60 ounce margarita. And that's starting right now. Bomber's Burrito Bar has been a local favorite of mine since college. The original location in Albany is still around and was a frequent hangout for oversized burritos in a dingy basement with a ton of character. They've updated and expanded to the floors above over the last 25 years. And they've also expanded to Schenectady and other areas. I've done the free birthday margarita in the past in 2005 and 2011, and it's always haunted me that I've never actually finished it. Being that it's been over a decade since my last attempt, I wanted a shot at redemption. So we went on my birthday to this connected location right across the street from Proctor's Theater. Bomber's food happens to be some of my favorite junk food in the area, so it really was win-win. Being that this was a family meal, we arrived a little bit on the early side, around 4.40 p.m., which isn't all that important aside from the first of two very odd things that happened over the course of this meal. We were seated in a booth just a short walk away from the bar. A young lady from the bar stopped by to tell us that service would be a little bit slow because there was a shift change that was happening. We really didn't understand exactly why she was telling us this because the place was absolutely empty, aside from a couple people at the bar, but it all kind of made sense once the replacement server came by. One thing I knew is that I I was getting the birthday margarita so I got my ID out ready because I know they were gonna take it and I wanted to get that in before that changeover she was talking about. She asked me which flavor and not being prepared for that at all I actually asked if they could do half strawberry half regular which is lime and she answered yes but I could see the confusion on her face. What I didn't know was that they changed the presentation of the margarita in two ways. The last time I had it it was served frozen in a giant metal martini glass with multiple straws and there were different flavors that were kind of blended in together. I remember there being like a white flavor and a red flavor. Now the giant margarita is served on the rocks in a giant mug of like a bell jar. I don't expect that she could have connected the dots with how we were not on the same page, but after a different observation, I realized things could have gone a little bit better there. So the story is that the margarita is free as long as you order a minimum of $20 worth of food. That wasn't gonna be a problem for us because it was three of us and by the time we ordered even one thing each, we would have been over $20. Shortly after five o'clock after the changeover there was another birthday girl and she asked her server who was also our new server about the birthday margarita and he told her a lot more than our original server told us mainly that it was on the rocks in a giant mug jar thing and that you could add additional flavors for a fee now I'm not gonna complain about the dollar or two or whatever it was that they added for me to get strawberry in with this margarita because I'm getting a giant 60 ounce free margarita but suffice to say that initial service did leave a little little bit to be desired. We did get our food order in with that original server before 5 p.m., which I think contributed to the other odd thing that happened later on in the meal, which I'll get into when we talk about the food. And I'm gonna say this, aside from my favorite restaurant server of all time, who I met in the mid 2000s at the Albany Bombers, the service at Bombers was never really much to rave about, but on this particular occasion, the difference pre and post shift was definitely noteworthy. Anyway, let's talk about the glory of this gigantic 60 ounce margarita. <laughs> As this thing comes out to you, it has a lit sparkler sticking out of it so that everybody knows it's your birthday. I'm not huge on attention in public places, so I guess it was good we were there at an off time. And I do realize the irony of that, having this channel and going out in public and taking video of my experiences. I get it, I can still be particular, okay? It also comes out with multiple straws because I think legally you're supposed to be sharing this. I can tell you for legal reasons, I might've shared a sip. By the way, if you're enjoying this, hit that like button so YouTube knows to share it with more people like you. Contrasting with my experience with the free margarita in the past, this actually packed a humongous punch. The older frozen version was so sweet that it was really difficult to detect tequila in there and I had my doubts as to how packed it was in the past. But this version was no slouch in the alcohol department at all. Now, I didn't expect it to be fresh lime juice or anything, so I wasn't shocked that it was just like a giant mug of sour mix. As I mentioned, I did add strawberry flavor to this, which made it a little more fruity than a typical margarita. I think you can also get prickly pear or mango or something. And the main theme here is that drinking a giant 60 ounce margarita was gonna need some serious junk food to soak it all up. So let's talk about what we ordered and get into a little bit of the food. Something I have to say before getting too far into the food. Bombers offers a number of items inspired by different cultures. Even though it's things like burritos, tacos, jerk pork, the correlations between what they serve and the country of origin kind of end at the name and overarching concept. This is not where you go for authentic food. This is straight up American junk food inspired by those cuisines. There's three main things that I like to order at Bombers. The first is barbecue tofu fries. 
where a stack of hot battered fries gets covered with rice and cheese and these silly little nuggets of deep fried tofu that are basically caramelized jewels of barbecue sauce. So good. Didn't get these on this visit because I didn't see it on the munchies menu where it used to be. They moved it to the vegetarian section where I'd never look. Oh well. But I also like to get the boneless wings. Can't go wrong with those. And some incarnation of the red striped jerk pork, either the burrito or the plate. On this visit from the munchies section, we also ordered Rasta fries, which are the same battered French fries that are dusted with jerk seasoning as they come out hot out of the fryer. Got some boneless wings mild because we were sharing. Chips and guac because that's what Cassie wanted. And 12 mini tacos because we thought that would be a fun thing for Noah to get. For me, I got the jerk pork bowl because I like choosing my adventure along the way. But the order that everything came out of that kitchen was completely out of whack. First, they brought out the taquitos for Noah. And if you notice, I just said taquitos because that was straight up wrong. Noah didn't order the 10 taquitos, he ordered the 12 mini tacos. Splitting hairs, but they're two completely different menu items. We let the runner know and they worked on the 12 mini tacos while they sorted out the rest of this delivery. At the same time, they brought up Cassie's tacos, my jerk pork plate, and the boneless wings. The chips and guac came when Noah's reorder of the 12 mini tacos came. And my Rasta fries came long after anything else. And by the time I was actually finished with my meal. It's okay, those are good to go. Now, I understand here it's easier for them to bring up certain items as they're ready and things cook at different rates, but there's got to be a flow to these orders, otherwise it's complete chaos. Now, I mentioned a bunch of times that there weren't many diners there at that time, so I could imagine in a really busy service and they were losing track and getting things wrong, this could be a disaster for them. Throughout the meal, I was working on that margarita but not making a whole lot of progress. As far as how the food tasted, I never have a bad thing to say about bombers. Boneless wings were sauced really nice and made for a good dipper with that blue cheese that was on the side. I really like getting boneless here and most places because it has a nice thick coating that soaks up a lot of the sauce. I just love extra buffalo sauce on thick pieces of chicken like that. Just perfect. Perfect. I did steal a Rasta fry before I packed them up and I absolutely love it. The jerk seasoning that they use has a lot of sweetness and those warm spices that really kind of wake up your palate. And then there's those herbal punches and powdered pepper. It, it's perfect, it's amazing. The jerk pork plate is also amazing. One of my favorite thing about bombers is the presentation and this is not gonna sound glamorous at all. It's been this way ever since they've done table service and maybe even before, I don't remember. But everything is served in these little metal kind of recessed dog bowls and there's a certain charm to that not everything has to be fancy all the time along with a decent portion of that red striped jerk pork which is nice and slow cooked and tender they give you some rice plain black beans lettuce and a small cup of mango salsa the burrito i don't remember but it probably packs the same exact stuff inside like i said it's kind of choose your own adventure as you eat this and it's just fun everybody else enjoyed their food too by the time i finished eating i had about a third of that margarita left so I went in for a final chug and I did it. I finished the damn thing. On our way out, we had a little bit of fun with the decorations that the restaurant has up and I was definitely feeling the effects of that margarita, but there was more birthday to celebrate. You can't have a birthday without some dessert. So we had actually stopped at a nearby bakery, Villa Italia, for some cupcakes to have after dinner. Cupcakes and candles are always a fun preamble to opening up gifts. The meal at Bombers was so big, I had to let everything settle for a little bit, of course. But all in all, it was a great birthday. Earlier that day, I checked out a 75 year old Schenectady institution famous for its hot dogs. Make sure you're subscribed so that comes up in your feed or click into this video right here.